everyone, Blaze here. Today I'm showing you how to make your own Warrior Cut Pokemon cards. You can use this uh, little video to make any type of Pokemon cards, but this is just me making Warrior Cats. Anyway, so you'll just need three tabs open. Those three tabs will be the tab with the art. Um, I just have official Warrior Cat art and then whatever cat name at the end. So I'm always using the official art by Wayne, Mick, Mick, whatever. Anyway. Um, the other two tabs are the Warrior Cats Wiki, which is where I get the quotes about them, where, like, you put it at the bottom, or, like, quotes by them, or something about them. And then, also, you will need Pokecard.net. I just searched up Pokemon Card Maker, and that was the first thing that popped up. And it's really easy to use, especially for somebody like me who knows nothing about Pokemon. Go over here. Let's go that upload all of your pokemon cards to a google docs and it will upload them to about the size of a full page but you can size them down by me showing you how to do it so go up to the tabs at the top click on add-ons and click get add-ons and in the search bar 
search up set image size and download it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do it, obviously. But So to open this, click add-ons and then click on set image size and open sidebar. And on that sidebar, in width, you're going to type 2.5 inches and in height, you're going to type 3.5 inches. So once you set all of them to the correct size, you can print it out. And I printed it on cardstock. You can also print it on that shiny picture paper, but that's really expensive. So I decided just to make it shiny myself. So once you've printed them out, you're going to cut them. And I use this, I have no clue what it's called, but cut straight lines. I use that. And then I also use scissors to do the more fine details and the closer to the Pokemon card. So I just cut out like a white border with the orange slidey thingy and then use an actual scissors to make it more correct. Next, use some sealing spray or glossy spray, whichever you want, and spray over to seal and let them sit out for 30 minutes or however long you have to. And I do two sealings because the first one mostly seals and the second one makes it a little shinier if you want it shiny. And these are the final products. I'll put them on Etsy. My Etsy link is in the description. And you should check them out. They are half the price of a normal Pokemon card. So they're really good priced and a lot of people seem really interested in them. So check them out.